Hello everybody, it's Vertical Sandwich. Welcome back to Let's Play Day of the Tentacle. The sequel to Maniac Mansion. Alright. Pantry. Oh, well, we can pick up the spaghetti. Pick up the oil. And open this door. We can open this cabinet. Pick up the brush. Pick up the bucket. I don't think I can put that in the chronogon. So, textbook came standard with Bernard. Can opener comes standard with Hoagie, and uh, there's a scalpel that comes standard with uh, what's her name? Okay, we've got two things we can do here. I mean, there's more than two things we can do, but we head out to the parking lot here. And there's this card that says, wash me. We can use this brush with it. I'd rather not. Oh. I used it with the windshield. Filthy old car. I would, but it would only rain. And you call that a hint? <laughs> we talked to the man in the ski mask. Hi. Don't sneak up on me like that. What are you up to? Uh, I uh, locked my keys in the car. If you're locked out, why break into the trunk? I uh, have a spare set of keys in there. Here, perhaps these are your keys. Where? Gimme. Hey, thanks, pal. Keep the crowbar. Thank you, masked man. What sort of person would carry around this many keys? Maybe this one. Hi. Look, I'm in a bit of a hurry, so kindly beat it. Drat. All right, now we have a crowbar. All right, and we got to get out of here because I can't deal with the shaking room. Everything else is fine, but the shaking room is horrible. If we use this, he'll actually chew the gum off of the dime to give him a dime and the gum. It's disturbing. So we can finish off this room by using a dime with the f the fickle fingers, I think is what it was called. And that'll shake that guy around. And we use this dime. Fickle fingers, yeah. 
that drops him on the floor, you take his sweater. Ew, it's soaking wet. And we get a trophy for being a kleptomaniac. Use the crowbar on the candy machine. Nineteen sixty eight, nineteen seventy four. Oh, 1977. All right, we collected all the quarters. Yay. Okay. What else do we have? How much of this stuff do we really need? We need the quarters. Well, actually, what the way I should look at this is what exactly does Bernard need, or Hoagie need? Yeah, wet, soggy noodles, that's important. He actually has everything he needs. So let's talk to John Hancock. Yo. Hello. What's up, you cold? Cold? I'm freezing. Why don't you build a fire? Well, I keep asking Jefferson to build a fire, but he won't. Says he needs the log for posterity and won't part with it. He's going to give the log to starving children? I don't get any respect around here. Why, I bet if George I spent the winter in Valley Forge, Washington was cold, we'd get some heat in here. What are you guys doing in here? We're writing a... a, a, a writing the... A, a, We're drafting a constitution for the United States. Don't say draft. You'll only make me colder. Wimp. Why don't you have some hot coffee? Oh, I can't stand coffee. It makes me irritable and want to bang my head against the walls. Have you tried decaffeinated coffee? I'm talking about decaf. Awesome blanket there, dude. Thank you. It was given to me by my dear old colorblind Aunt Hattie. How come you sign your name so big? Astigmatism. You mean you have, like, a childhood complex? All right. The, the, the truth is that a friend once told me that women go crazy over guys with a big signature. Shouldn't you guys be working instead of just sitting there? Writer's block. We can't think of any um, amendments or anything, so we put a suggestion box over there. I don't suppose you have any br brilliant ideas? You could guarantee the right to free speech. Hmm, free speech? No, that'll never work. Well, I gotta go, dude. <laughs> hey, tall, dark, and spiffy, my name's Hoagie. 
Well, how quaint. I am, of course, Thomas Jefferson, noted scholar, musician, horseman, student of the sciences, member of the bar. Oh, sure, I've heard of you, dude. What's in the can, Tommy? Thomas, my name is Thomas, and this, my chubby friend, is a time capsule filled with remembrances of our time to be revealed 400 years hence. Now, clearly Laverne is 400 years away, so... So, how's the time capsule going? I'm sorry to say that except for my log, we haven't got a thing. Dude, is that like THE Constitution? Right now, it's just a constitution, I'm afraid. We hit a slight creative block right after the preamble. That's why we put up a suggestion box over there. Could you start a fire, please? I'd love to oblige you, young man, but I can't. This is the only log, and I'm saving it for posterity. How can you let Hancock suffer like that? A real man is warmed by the fires of his spirit. You should listen to Washington relate his experiences at Valley Forge and take heed. Has anyone ever told you you're a very snappy dresser? Why, yes. I studied at Virginia Coat and Technical, where I majored in color theory. I was captain of the varsity cravat team. Those are impressive credentials, Tom. Thomas. Dude, I loved your work on the Declaration of Independence. Ah, thank you. What was your favorite part? I like the we the people part. That's not in the Declaration of... Say, that's not bad. Maybe we can use it. Well, later, dude. What? What's going to happen later? All right, when we come back, there's more people to talk to. Bye, everybody.